You have credit cards. Just, you know, 30 payments. That's literally the first thing that came through in the stream. You have credit cards. That's all I heard. <laughs> nice. We're going to have to do no some context. Hot, tub, hot tub streams to... Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, my God. So I was watching my uh, second favorite streamer. Uh, not this one, obviously. Uh, yesterday. And uh, he's like one of the 20... He's like the 25th top streamer in twitch or whatever mm -hmm. um and he was, so he's talking about all the drama with twitch going on right now because there's a lot anyway um he was talking about how he you know he's probably come june next year he's probably going to move to t youtube because of the revenue split thing that's going on um uh, because that's when the that's when the new rules come to play 
Anyway, he said he was like making a plea to YouTube, saying, "Like, look at how many subscribers I had. Have I have?" And he's like, "How?" Uh, he pointed the number out as twenty four thousand subscribers, mm -hmm. uh, and it's like it could it's uh, soon to be twenty five thousand. Then he like zooms in on his face and just looks for a second, <laughs> and nothing happens. Like literally, it's completely dead air. He just stares, just makes a stupid face, and and then a wave comes in. I was watching it. I, I I had it on the big screen, but I was watching chat on my phone. My right. phone crashed. Like oh, God. so many so things many came in. Came, uh, came in, like because it, it, what it does is it, it stacks them. It has like a little uh, counter and it stacks them and stuff. In oh, less than it. four minutes, he got a thousand subs. Well, that's all we need to do. Yeah, that's Stare five thousand dollars flying at camera. Him. Five thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars, just boom, right there. Well, actually, for him, he gets a seventy thirty split, so actually more than more than that. Well, for now, until twenty twenty three, which is yeah, then it's fifty fifty. Yep. So, but you know what? Uh, these vods are now showing up on YouTube, so they're actually getting traction. I don't know if you saw that, Scott, but the the videos I over saw on the hockey stick there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a spike. I think we need a, a diff different name or something to differentiate your, the name Get Dangerous because your your name actually works. Like it needs to be like Get Dangerous like VODs or Get Va Dangerous Well, archives we're going to keep or... that one as my, my archival anyway. Yeah. If you recall. Well, we need a new one. Like I was thinking yeah. like GD Highlights or something because then someone could actually type that into a search bar, GD Highlights, and get it as opposed to Get Dangerous and then just find Get Dangerous the singers <laughs> until the algorithm uh, shines upon you. Yeah, I don't Wait, know. What, I, like there said, other people? Huh? No, if are you there... type in Get Dangerous into mm -hmm. YouTube right now, you're going to see Baby Money, which is a future, uh, It's a musical group. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. And if yeah. you keep scrolling, you'll see uh, Elite Dangerous, and then <laughs> more Elite Dangerous, and then more Get Dangerous, the group. Um, and you'll never see our boy yeah here. we're buried then everybody get dangerous by weezer <laughs> right d could just be like the lost fifth member of weezer uh yep yeah so the only way i was able to find him using youtube search was by actually typing in decode um uh, and that's because the name in his thing it says game brain with decode like oh, some of the titles of his streams actually were able to let me find it um so there you have it <laughs> Hey, Bill. Yeah, hey, Bill. <laughs> hey. I just completely railroaded you joining, so I'm sorry. I have shit to say. Like, uh, here's an example. His latest video that we just op uploaded today already has 10 views. Unless, unless uh, you know... D is really into himself and just keeps loading the video over and over again. I've had, to check, I've people... had to check two or three times to make sure that my chapters showed up, but other than that, that's no, I did not just sit there and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems people be turning it on and just leaving it on, according to that that post you made showing like the average viewership going up to from zero to like five hours. Uh, well, that's fun. Well, you, like podcasts, the, that's kind of what this turns out to be. Like, you can literally just turn it away and, like, listen to the chatter. Did you... You didn't... On the latest video, you didn't add the tags. I'm not seeing them. You need to tag it, bruh. I did add tags. They don't show up after oh. you add them, though. <clears throat> what? So if you go to edit and try to edit the tags, they don't show the, the ones you popped in. But they're already added. What? I, I don't know how you see the tags, but... I spent probably 30, 40 minutes this morning adding tags to many videos. That's so weird, because like when I'm looking at the videos on my on the YouTube mobile mm -hmm. or on my phone, they show up at the very top on all the videos I've seen except yours. Yeah, I've added them, updated That's it, so everything, but I believe it. I believe it. I I just don't know how to use their. Maybe it's because I have adblock on. I don't know. I have no so, idea. You're making me you're making me want to investigate now. No. Oh. <laughs> Everybody ends up getting the freaking bug somewhere. Here it is. Oh. 
poor, poor, impotent Danny. Maybe his magic hands will actually do something this episode. I don't recall. Drew said he was coming, right? The cold felt. Drew said <laughs> he times. said so. Colt would have these great epic spells going on, and then boom. <laughs> you tore a great fab a hole in the fabric of reality. Congratulations. Yeah. So, uh, meet D after the stream tonight. Let's let's like get into a screen share, or you can share your screen. I want to see what you see, <clears throat> because like, I swear to God, they're not showing up, and they show up every in every other video I've seen that has tags. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tags? What are we talking about? Just on well, tags so you for can, search engine in optimization YouTube, you inside can, of YouTube. Yeah, you can add tags to YouTube videos. Oh. Um, yeah, I went and, through. I go clicky and edit tags. They normally show up as little hashtag bubbles uh, in, on top of the videos. Yeah. Yeah. I need to find an example of one that is showing it's it and it's not. <laughs> I'm just going to put a stupid one in there and I'm going to call it game time updating. That's going to be the one that sticks. Right? Yep. That'll be the one that Forever. shows up. Game time! Who searches for that? I don't know. It says updating videos. Got lots of people in here today. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's not fully updated it yet. It's not there. It's still now. taking time. Well, I'm not seeing it on any videos now, so it's like, I maybe I was just stroking out when I saw it earlier. I've seen I've seen tags similar to that, the little bubble tags inside of Twitch. I've seen those. Oh yeah, Twitch definitely does it. Like it, below your video right now, you have chill, hangout, chat, variety, cyberpunk, role playing game, supernatural, magic, and fantasy. Like, you got some tags. Do you like the chapters? Yeah, that's that takes some work to put in there. So Dee's doing the doing the, that's the nice. Lord's work. It's easy. It's easy to do too. Okay, Lord's now it's work. updated. With the first, the latest one has game time as a as a freaking tag. I'll just leave it there. But I have the, no idea. Uh, Mass Effect Legendary oh. Edition Day Three. Yeah. That's Where long. would the tag show up? Right. That's well, what I don't know. As far as I am concerned, or when I've seen them, it shows up at the top of the, of the, right below the video, above the description with like hashtag bubbles. But I'm not Hello. seeing it in any videos I'm looking at now. So now I'm feeling like YouTube changed things on me. Like, <laughs> oh no, I see. So I just went to and it's in blue text. Where do you see it? I just went to a different video in my Take sidebar. Take a screenshot. I need to, I need to see it. <laughs> to know I'm not crazy. He's got the fucking bug, man. Yeah, I've added the tags in here. I don't know. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that blue text. It's in literally every single video I've seen. Interesting. Well. You're talking Fun about the stuff blue, to learn. the blue text yeah. there for, well, yeah. You mean the bubble text that's below those little gray bubbles? Well, that's on t Twitch. Um, when I was on mobile, YouTube mobile, those gray bubbles showed up for YouTube tags. Did you post that somewhere? He posted it in the Laser Lounge. Mm. The little blue text. Ah, bro time roaming. Are you hashtagging us, Inky? We're getting hashtagged, bruh. This is just straight romance, no bromance about it. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, that'll be, some that'll be something I can start uh, uh, Googling tomorrow. Uh, for now. Did you get yeah, they don't notes? show up. That's fucking weird. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Do you, just, do you see the three types of content that are... When I, when I first loaded Twitch, it was like, here's what you might like. And it was like, Critical Role, Football, and Amaranth. 
<laughs> like, yeah, the three types of content on Twitch. That's true. It's weird Game, though that... Game, sex, and sports. It's weird that football, like... You have your own place. Get out! It's like, because they can make money. I it's mean, just the... like, go, you have broadcast TV. Like, go do that. But there's a lot of people who don't have broadcast TV, Scott. Have you thought of that? I don't care I know. <laughs> about football, though. And this is our space, and now they're invading our space. There's a there's a great comic out there. It's like, you know, when a group of people get together and they like it, and they bring their one friend in, and they like it, and then they bring their one friend in, and then they, like, change one rule. And then it yeah. keeps changing it to the point where it's, like, not the original game group anymore. And yeah. it's all completely different. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I do. Oh, I didn't name our last episode. No. Um... Fizzle. <laughs> no, uh, you sizzle. know what? No sizzle, no, no. all fizzle. <laughs> oh god, no. wet noodle. Oh, wet noodle. Yeah, I. Speaking of like <laughs> stroking out, I I like missed the the missed initial description of the... what was going on. There's like a battle and like a castle and we Fae. got pulled. We got pulled. So, like, right. This is a great recap because, like, we were walking along, and then uh, we remember we talked to that that shady dude. Uh, yeah. And he was like super jovial with like the super shady dude. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Danny was like seeing cool magic stuff, and and like then right after that we got randomly like without any preamble pulled into this other place that like we have a, no idea where like it was. A field. We got into, pulled and into a field. We went into a, like a forest like nearby. Like Normandy, all of a sudden. It's like <laughs> magical D Day. Yeah. Oh, I saw something last night, just like a you know thirty second clip from Band of Brothers, and I'm like looking at the clock. I'm like, I've got nine hours before I have to be up. I could do a Band of Brothers right now. Wow, that sounds like a mistake. It is, but it's kind of not because Band of Brothers is amazing. Again, if you've got nine hour episodes in you. Dude, I still want to one of these days uh, have like a like a, a bro date and just go go meet up somewhere. Whoever has the coolest house and uh, watch all of the Lord of the Rings extended cut. That's 12 hours. Yeah, well, you know, it'd be two days. <laughs> Six hours of movies and D and D and six more hours of movies and... I know that we couldn't do it all in a row. It's called um, binge. I could do it all in a row, but that's just me. I couldn't. Yeah. I'd be like <laughs> the whole time. I don't know how you do it. I mean I I'm sure there'd be naps happening be in the movies themselves. Well I can definitely tell you it has nothing to do with any of the fluff in my butt because I have none left. So I don't know how I can sit for that long and just do that. Uh, okay. So yeah, I mean that was a good kind of a good recap. Um, the the team was trans tr team minus uh, Silva. Minus yeah. Silva was transported to somewhere. After else getting a mysterious package from yeah for Brenner. Right. And Max is being Max. Max and is out. Now, um, and now we have um Barnaby at uh with a slobbering uh Bay Wild demonic monster trying to yes. eat his face. And that's where we're at. And Danny I should open up my camera. You know what I should do is uh, I should throw throw you a gun or something so you can just start shooting wildly. I mean, I do have a weapon, but it's a melee weapon. You know, the funny thing is that this is pro proving Dresden's whole thing about carrying a gun is sometimes better than having magic. Yeah. But you gotta get the old carriage gun. <laughs> gotta get a coach gun, you mean? <laughs> That's what I mean, coach gun. Why did I say carriage gun? 
Got to hook up that thing. carriage. Co coach in a carriage, right? They're the same thing. They're they're adjacent. <laughs> so it tells you I know words, but I don't know things. I guess we can get right back to it though, because uh, mm -hmm. you know, even if Drew shows up, he's not here unless suddenly he's like, and yeah. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he yeah. just gets teleported into the middle of it. Um, well, we actually did a uh, full round, so that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. We did two full rounds, in fact. Uh, as far as the... Um... Oh, and what I have a penalty. I'm a, yeah. I am totally exhausted. Because you failed a lot. Just, oh, yeah. just so much. Yeah, well, I had to... <laughs> I used to soul, he used soul burn... And it didn't uh, yeah, pan I out. Used soul burn. And I have a tolerance of six. And for the next, as soon as I can find the chat. <laughs> uh, next three rounds, I think. Oh, next two rounds. So for the next two rounds, I have a seven exhaustion on my six tolerance. And then that'll go away in two rounds. It'll, the, the five will turn into, or the seven will turn into just a two. Yeah. Oh, you're at seven exhaustion? Right now he is, yeah. Yeah. Or like negative one or whatever. Yeah, so in this case, yeah, you keep all the regular exhaustion for it, but with the soul burn, it basically lets him, it, you just Go do an amped up hit, yeah, and then you can, you bounce back shortly thereafter, but yeah. it, it leaves you, it leaves you vulnerable. Yeah, so for two rounds, I have my regular two exhaustion plus a bonus five exhaustion mm -hmm. while my soul recovers from its fizzle. <laughs> that's a i mean that that kind of makes sense in universe too because like after such a like surge of energy to have it all go away you're like oh mm -mm. yeah <laughs> that'd be hard oh i mean absolutely and like if it had worked like it would have been nasty i'm sure potential of like seven successes on a thing with a threshold of one so it could have been you know massive overkill this but how true. does that tolerance affect me now? So I have a. You have, have a six. One. You have a six tolerance, and you have negative seven. You have a, and you have seven exhaustion, right? Right. Means that for your next two rounds, all of your rolls suffer a negative one die penalty. Oh, like just spell casting, or like in everything? Spell casting, specifically. Okay. So like, so I was like, well, wait. If I like went to attack something, I would roll zero d ten. Yeah, no, just spell casting. <laughs> okay, so any spells I do will have a fewer. Okay, that's good yeah. to know. So then I still would get, like, my evocation is a rank three, so instead of rolling three, You'd roll dice, two. I'd roll two. Yep. Okay. Cool. And hope that I didn't fail. Right. Correct. Oh, you could get yourself to a spot where you uh, can't cast spells. Correct. That's kind of the oh. point, isn't it? Yes. And then we get ruptures and cascades. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Barnaby. Get, get yeah. Face raped. Well, yeah, he's on the ground being tackled by one of these creatures right now. And I think the music is fitting. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, did I tip that tickle you, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to breathe right when you said that, and it just hit me. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, he's in the midst of a very powerful struggle right now. Um, uh, by the way, our, our our order of operations here is, uh, uh, besides obviously the people that you're running, D, uh, is Malcolm, Danny, then Hugh, uh, which as far if you if you kept track of the combat sense awareness, it was 16, 14, and one. Yeah, I've got your order right over here. Excellent. Well, then what I just said and meant nothing. No, no, it doesn't mean Hugh nothing. It means you're tracking, go, which so. is good. Yeah, he just, he was literally did his last thing. He smashed the skull of one of the things, of one of the creatures, and then new round. 
Barnaby manages to actually get the upper hand to some degree. He starts using a certain degree of, um, uh, yeah, a certain degree of jujitsu against it, with, like putting up his knees and creating this kind of formation where he gets put space between himself and the creature, and allows himself to get up close enough to where it can't bite or claw too terribly easily without, uh, because it's lacking in the leverage. But they're in this rough, tumble, nasty, um, nasty dra drag out fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> psyching himself up and uh, with that being said he's still locked in he can't do much and that means that Malcolm is up next okay so I'm going to spend seven of my blood pool to activate dancing spirit Mm -hmm. And essentially, what's your radius? Um, he's gonna move. He's gonna move into range and then use it. Right. So but what's your rate of use? Rate of use yes. is five. Which means that round. next round it'll pop off. Yeah. Um. Are you using your blood to do what now? Dance. Basically, use his um. Uh, his uh, kilt's alive. So he's gonna move forward and um, cut up the, uh, the the demon thing, but he's gonna do is like an upward stroke. So to catch it between Barnaby's body and then up, not down. Yep. So he'll do he'll do two strokes, one, two. Right, you're going to be at a plus three because, it's, well, actually, it's going to be even, um, only because of the fact that they're in a rough and tumble, and it can't defend itself terribly well, and you also are trying to and not hit him, his, so it's kind of and even. He still has, yeah, he still has his <laughs> warrior instinct activated, so he's got the plus three from that. Yeah, and that's fine. Plus two from his fencing, so yep. five, two... Twenty-one. Okay, I gotta remember it's the forward slash. It's true! <laughs> okay, we're gonna use some luck. Yep, yeah, we are. Oh, did our luck uh, reset? No, it didn't, huh? So we're gonna roll, we're gonna basically roll another one for that. Okay, so doing an exploding that die. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you so need to get explode. in the Twitch chat too, Drew. Oh. I just waved at you and you weren't there. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, that's a good luck. God damn, you exploded twice on the explode. God damn. Okay, so. <laughs> wow. That is that's correct. Just, that's one stroke. So I think he's not going to follow up with the second one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that single cut happens to go right below the floating rib of the creature. It cleaves into the carapace going through it. There is a nasty sounding gash. Now, not as uh, what might be expected in most cases, it's just a fine slice that causes it to jerk into motion. Barnaby ends up getting the upper hand with this thing in the brawl. Nice. And He's doing just, like, so... painting with the sword. <laughs> yeah, but he gets the upper hand while the thing is seriously wounded and just bleeds out rapidly from this side wound that you really can't even see the cut in. That's how harshly and how cleanly that cut is. It just starts bleeding profusely. By the time it stops struggling, Barnaby's just kind of like trying to roll out from underneath and get his reorientation. Um, your second blow, sir, since you have a secondary attack. Um, he's going to just stab it because <laughs> it's off of him now. Okey stick. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to make sure it's dead. For sure. Well, yeah. Yeah. 
watch this explode. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. No. <laughs> he stabs the dirt. Well, I mean... I mean, at this point, it's just basically like that just sticking it. It happens to just kind of fall out of place and you miss, but it's not anything anybody would notice. Um, there was one other creature there, and of course, with that... Uh, it's Max in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying I'm to here. remind me again, Ken, because I know it was there, and I believe Danny was in a face-off with it. Was, it. was that not the case? No, I took care of it. That was the one I, I attacked. There was only one left, then? There was one uh, on Barnaby, and then one other nearby, and then I thought there the was one a third. one that was attacking but... Danny. And yeah. the, there's a third one that we you yeah okay said there was, should be another like, one doing anything yet yeah, yeah there's one like, but it wasn't that was like facing us it was yeah. like moving with us yeah and I had dispatched one in the woods yeah so I know that there were three that you guys were originally dealing with one now that's two the third one's still there yes <clears throat> well, didn't I kill one in the forest yes that was I like had... the first one that was the very okay. first one yes there was, there was another one before that you. you've killed two yeah, in the yeah. woods. Okay. And these are like Zerg or whatever, right? Like that's that's, what, that's literally what I'm imagining. It's just that's a bunch of Zerg. I'm like, the... Yeah, that's really funny. Dude, you I'm know like, what? Whenever yeah. I see the Zerg in the game versus the Zerg like in the videos, I like especially the Zerglings. I always think they look different. They always to me they always look like they have big mandibles up here, like like little antenna yeah. when they're running. But that's not what it is. <laughs> just because you know the nature of pixel art. Starship and troopers. The, Hell yeah. All right, it comes lunging. There's another one that apparently hit moves at speed, goes for Barnaby since he's the most exhausted, having been inside of this crazy fight for the longest. However, Barnaby manages to juke one side and utterly avoid anything that this thing has, and it puts itself into a very poor position here. Um, Danny, that it basically puts it right in front of you. So it yep. comes lurching forward, gets after him. Malcolm is sit standing right there, but you have the opportunity here. Green? All right. <clears throat> no, no. Don't actually How? scream. No. You're like clearing your throat perfectly. I know, I know. <laughs> so Danny is like dripping sweat, exhausted, and he's going to like, um, you know, hold up his hand and try and just do like... He's he's like um like surrendering to it instead of trying to force it like he mm -hmm. was trying to force it last time and now he's just trying to like open himself up and channel it through. Let's see the channel. So I'm gonna go for a dart and now I got it again. It's gonna take me to remember like how to do because I want to do that exclamation point. Yeah, all you gotta do is just type in your normal roll and then just exclamation point and then okay, whatever. So down. No, no, no! I want to do the exclamation point roll. Oh, pff. yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that contribution, Drew. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank goodness, a success. A singular <laughs> success. A singular success. All right, what were you trying to pull off? Dart. So nice. send a moat of incendiary energy at your target to inflict damage. Power? And... Uh, the base power is 8. So that means that's 8 damage magical. 12, but that's not for this. So, yeah. Nice! So he just... <laughs> <laughs> and if I had luck, you know... All you have know. to do is actually sh uh, fire it off like a gun in terms of the actual attack, because it doesn't home in on its target. It's close, right. but you're jittery and you're shaky, so... Yeah. All right, so it takes a, a shot of eight incendiary energy damage to the face or back or whatever is closest to us. Right. And did you roll that attack? Though? Oh, I didn't have to roll attack. Yeah. Because like oh, it doesn't. It's yeah. not, All you did it's was not make a, the magic. All yeah. You, you, you can send it off. Magic. It's gonna go. But do you hit your target? Is the next question. Okay. So then I roll my spell attack. Yes. Yeah. You gotta know you got it off the ground. So that's a 1d10, right? Uh -huh. And then plus my spell attack. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> 17. Nice. 
Let me see here. I'm curious. I'm curious. Well, because of the fact that it landed... Okay, so normally that would actually allow it to dodge, but because it wasn't necessarily facing you, you managed to get the jump on it. So you get up with, with surprise. <laughs> All right, so I... And then... Yeah. Shoot it. it if it misses, it misses. You know, no, it hits. Fun. It definitely does. It managed to whack it. Like I so said, you, you, uh, you get the extra from surprise on that one. So... You feel the fire here in the palm of your hand built up. The projectile launches from your, you know, with your sense of will, just sending it forward like gravity pulling it the other way. When it makes impact, it sizzles and there's a minor burst. The thing howls in pain right immediately after, so you know it's quite effective. Um, How and effective? Well, I mean, it's still alive, but it wheels on where the pain came from, so now it's facing dead right at Danny. And... That leaves Hugh at its back, and at a close enough point where he could rush and attack if necessary. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Do it! I spent so many late nights watching Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> Spirit detective. <laughs> Get a large pizza from La Mirinda Pizza. Watch Toonami. Good time. Um. Uh, okay. Well. I think what I'll do is I'll see what's going to happen, and I'll put away my taser, and I'm just going to go to double-handed, uh, you know, Swing. home run yep. on his back. Mm -hmm. I like your bat. I do too. <laughs> I only did probably charge it after this. It's got three capacity now. It's got two. Mm -hmm. uh, so this will be the last attack. Well, no. Now after this attack, I'll be the last attack. Yeah, I'll have one more uh, charge left. Yeah. 1d10 plus melee. <clears throat> Just 8. Checking, oh, this music is nice. checking, checking. <laughs> nice. The 13 oh, million. Just, I like you get that text in there. <laughs> so it's 13. All right, you come swinging right forward. It manages to duck its hips underneath itself, kind of more hyper vigilant than before, and. Uh, swivels on you, but again doesn't seem to realize that it's now sort of squashed in between everybody. When you make that swing, it misses, it swivels hard enough that it sends dirt and divots up into the ferns. Malcolm, you're already on approach, but before you have a chance to really um, do much of anything else, there is this kind of like grunt as Barnaby comes moving forward and he does it really quick. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah. Barnaby comes at a rushing lunge, manages to tackle it at the shoulder. You see the glint of a blade? He ends up doing what's called the sewing needle stitch as it's going down, and he starts just basically eviscerating this thing, stabbing it multiple times, chest and neck. Pr prison style? Just doing Yeah, that. it's it's called the yeah, it's called a sewing needle. Yeah, you just go stab, 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 just going after it. bloody sewing needle. Yeah. That, right there afterwards, he's just panting at this point. Malcolm, you're right behind. You were going to be able to finish him up if something else went wrong. But he ends up sitting up. You don't hear anything else coming your way, but the sound of the battle is pretty loud now, as a lot of these things have started to crash over that particular fortress. Um, Hugh and Danny. Um... Yeah, make awareness checks real quick. Okay. Whoops. Oh, 
I guess that works too. <laughs> Let's see. Is it, a, it? You said it was an awareness check. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Is it uh, um, anything to do with danger? No. Okay. Twenty for Danny. All right. You both happen to notice that there's some kind of a, a nearby breach, and it looks like it's somewhat close. Maybe 35, 40 feet behind some trees that are to everyone's left. So Danny will whimper slash call it out. Yep. Yeah. So what is it that we saw? A breach that looks like to be some sort of way out. Because there's a light change. Yeah. Oh, in the wall. No, just in the space. About 35 feet away. And he's going to like point and like pull on whichever adult is closest to him. Yeah. Well, and Barnaby's coming on up and, uh, you know, you're kind of pointing in that direction. Uh, direction. And Hugh, you're you're noticing it. And he's like, hey, hey, let's go. Like that and just kind of indicates right? to everybody that else. That could be our way out. Yeah. He ends up basically picking you up near waist and starts running, like hauling <laughs> balls. Because you're football. still. Football carry. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's like this and you're just kind of like tucked in. And he's got you like that, and he's just moving ass right straight for that frickin' breach. Is the Heisman right through? <laughs> in a sense, but I mean, like, he's got you gripped in such a way, because he can't do the fireman's carry too terribly, like, quickly. So he just snatched well, you I'm up not, and went. Well, I'm not, like, broken. I'm just... No, but he wants to move your ass you know. out. He's also your bodyguard, so... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hauling hard. Oh, my God. Malcolm, you heading for the breach also? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Malcolm's the guy, my people. <laughs> All right. You guys beat feet, push through these trees. You can hear more of them coming around, but you start to clamor on through, and as you come passing the threshold of this particular breach, it finally snaps closed behind everyone as you get through. And everybody's pretty much out of breath, you know, like blood-spattered and a mess. Silva's standing there, Max, you've just come back from like wandering the marketplace, kind of looking at everything that's been around here. You catch like sight of Silva. Up. Yeah, you catch sight of Silva, approach her. She's like looking around frantically into her things, trying to find something that will help her out. Um, there was a bit of a kind of a crowd in the in the general area as something obviously had happened. And she can hear her mumbling to herself. She's just kind of like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like trying to find something that she can do. Uh, the rest of the group is missing presently. But right when you get up to where she's at, there's something that just peels open and the rest of the group comes piling out at speed <laughs> and just like looking like they've been through hell. And then it snaps closed behind them as you just get there. And Silva just goes moving up to everybody. She's like, what the hell's what? What the? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick. Uh... Nah, I oh, guess I don't need to do an uh, education check. I could put I could put two and two together. That she's the one that just saved us, right? Oh, Jesus Christ! I can't stop watching that one. Bill, where the fuck, man? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh, dude, he cuts That's... the fucking nose. Oh, oh, oh! Look, mob <laughs> powers. Hey, <sighs> portal uh, away. away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's <All> perfect. Right. <laughs> so, so Danny's gonna, you know, get set down and kind of look around and and see Silva and be like, "Is that you?" And she's just sort of like, yeah? What the hell? Happened? What? Where'd you go? He was going to ask, how long and are then, we gone? You know, Malcolm we just, just kind of flicks the blood off his dimension. sword, sheaves, and goes, an unpleasant place. Which, Which you, still have the, you still have the message. Um, you still have the message inside of your... Uh, coat, yeah. Yeah, inside your surcoat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, you get me, Scott. Ugh.
A very uncomfortable place. <laughs> Dark Fantasy Studio. The evil inside. Dun, 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 dun. It looks yeah. like a big mouth. It does. Kind of, yeah. A gaping maw, you could say. Indeed. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, so what, what, what was that? Where were we? And she's like, I have no idea. You just were here and then suddenly you were gone. It was like you just blasted into like warp speed that way, like indicating down the street. But it wasn't... I don't even know how to explain it. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. All I know is that you were gone, and now you're here, so... You look fucking awful, all of you. What the hell happened? We were attacked. We went to some, like, fairy world or something. We're already in and a fairy world. <laughs> aliens. Bug things trying to eat us. My magic didn't work, so clearly it was because of where we were. Clearly. Yeah, well, in, in this case, Barnaby's just, like, checking his weapon. He's like, I don't think it was anything. I don't know what the fuck that was, but there was some nasty shit in there. Listen, uh... I don't... How long... Yeah, like what he said. How long have we been gone? And she's like, I don't know. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> the battle was, like, 12 seconds, you know, so... Yeah, it was it was short. I mean, you guys moved around, yeah. so it's been 10, 15 minutes tops. Oh, it's wild. Oh, it, it was real time then. We were gone for ten for fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. like you guys were okay. gone for the same amount of time there that you were. Yeah, it's all the same. You guys are synced. No dilations, no no shrinkages or anything like that. It's gonna cost the dilation years. stations. <laughs> hey, Grayley. Um, hey, Grayley. Oh my God, it's Grayley. Uh. The um, he was gonna see Ma uh, Max and was like, "Oh, Max, are you okay?" <laughs> Just takes a bite. Churro. You know. That ain't right. <laughs> Churro. Now. <laughs> I went into this room the other day and you told me it was the bathroom, and I got in there and someone locked the door. What the hell is going on? <laughs> is this at my house? Did you guys lock him in somewhere? So I was like, no. He just wandered off on his own, doing whatever. Like, he was just there one minute and gone the next. <laughs> well, we're all here together now. You guys hurt? Is anybody wounded? I mean, and, you know, Danny's got, like, a light limp or whatever. He's like, I'll be fine. Yeah. Is my exhaustion gone now? The uh Yeah, I mean like the overwhelming the, yes, the bit of the it the overwhelming but, crushing yeah. yes, need that to is take gone a nap exhaustion. Now I just have regular two. Woo <laughs> Nice. Another gifted sub. Thank you, sir. Whoa, what? Wait, we're at seventy six? Yeah. Uh -huh. Holy crap. Isn't that wild? Pretty neat. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I got bit or something by one of those things, but I think I'll be fine. <laughs> She's like, uh, okay. Barnaby just, like, uh, comes up next to you and takes a look at it. It's like, not a bite, definitely a cut, though. We'll have to deal with it later. We need to get this thing taken care of, whatever it is we're doing. Where's that shop? I. It's down that way, isn't it? Hi. Just a bit, and frankly, I'd like to. I want to clean up. Get get that. Where's done. the lavatory? <laughs> you can clean up when we get our task done. I would like to get back to a safe place. This is a safe place. Oh wait, am I not allowed to do magic now? Yes, you're not allowed to do magic again. Wait, did she do magic? She was. She like looks over at Dan. And she's like. I was going to try and get you guys out if I could figure it out, but wasn't coming up with too many good ideas. And then Malcolm just kind of wiggles his finger in the air and says, and did you do that? Or do do what to like who? The, like a portal. Like, like the, where they She's like, came from. Uh-uh, that wasn't me. 
I was trying to find the right charm and I couldn't find one. And besides, I didn't even know where you went, so it was kind of a crapshoot anyway. Well, seems like we have a guardian angel, and frankly, it just takes like it just takes he just he downs like the uh, his flask. Yep. <laughs> to uh, recharge his uh his blood pool. Yeah. So he's his flask is empty. He's going to refill that at some point. And he pops two pills and goes. And personally, Tinkles, this is going to be need to get refilled at some point. So, Tinkles, let's what go in there. Just kind of grins at you, and the teeth kind of show. And he goes, now, do you mind if we just get back to the shop? Because Mr. Barnaby had an absolutely fantastic idea with that. Well, you yeah, proceed you guys in. lead the way. Yeah, you guys get there. Danny, you're, you're dealing with, like, the adrenaline rush. <laughs> you're getting, like, the sure. shakes, the lightheadedness, yeah, like the fucking weak joints. Hurt. Yeah, there's you know, like kind of like that, push. but, yeah. It's it's similar to those kinds of things, but you're also feeling that weakness in the joints and the kind of like the 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 weight of your own clothing. There's just a lot. It's just that after adrenaline dump that just sucks. Um, When you get to Anubis's shop, somewhat disheveled, the lot of us go inside, and Anubis kind of looks up again, has a bit of a smirk on his face. He's like, gentlemen. Lady, welcome back. Uh, I guess the first thing he would do is like, ah, uh, hello, <laughs> Nubis. How are you doing today? And he's like, I'm doing well. I can see that you've had you know, some You trouble. must know who this is by now, but he's referring to Danny. Yeah, he's like, but yes, I'm aware. He doesn't look like a jackal. Nope. Blonde hair, tall blue eyes. Shape, short cut on the sides, kind of like this, with a nice, like, you know, I don't know what it's called, but it's where it's like combed over. It looks good. He looks businesslike, and he's got the suspenders, the button-up shirt, the slacks, the whole nine yards. But, you know, it's uh, it's American gods, Anubis. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's kind of business casual at the moment. But he uh, puts down some small trinket and puts it into a leather bag, then stuffs it away underneath one of the counters. I believe that you are here for what exactly? Uh, who, who has the gold bars? I think it was. Who has the gold bars? Malcolm. Oh, so you still have them after yeah. all that fun? Yeah, he's been he's he's gonna he's Pretty gonna cool. do like a little he's gonna do like a little grabby motion at you. It's like Malcolm, Malcolm. Yeah. <sighs> Chunk. I'm still really confused. What the hell just happened? <laughs> You're just on psychedelics. Yeah, so it's like, like magical Maxwell, churro. as soon as I figure it out, you'll be the first one I'll let know. Who the hell are you people? So you're using my dad's money to buy something? What are we buying? No, you're looking so he, for uh, he o- puts of... the case down, opens it up, showing the gold. It was like, Anubis, we've come to barter. <laughs> oh, God. So close to copyright. No. Anyway. You guys got what it's going for. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. He's like, that's an awful lot of money there. Well, uh, it seems that you need... We need the Sands of Time from you. You need the goblet from... uh, Violet? No. Who is it? Natalia, I believe. Natalia, thank you. Was it Natalia Aleska? Yeah, yeah, Natalia Aleska. And our thought was that we could go to you to uh, get something that might entice her. <laughs> so you're trying to trade with uh, someone and you need something of note, something unique. Uh, yes, and then he's going to explain all of the, the stipulations that would uh, intrigue Natalia. Mm. Well, anything in the shop would probably do. He ends up giving a sidelong glance for just a brief moment at the monkey's paw. And then look back at everyone else, and he's like, that might be a bit cliche, however. <laughs> you know, though, the, something that has a story to it might actually work. He wanders over to the monkey's paw. Like, how authentic is this? And he holds it up. I wouldn't... He, like, in this case, it's behind a case, so you, like, go up and oh. point at it. Okay. He's, yeah, because it's not going to let people just run off with that thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> just <laughs> grab it. It's like, I wish for this. Yeah, yeah, I wish to buy this. 
And he's like, Congratulations. It's extremely authentic. At one of the first, actually. The, there's more than one that he was like not like a, a incredulous just more yeah. like interested like oh there's more than one kind it's of thing like, of course there is yeah monkey's got two paws two feet Me a monkey's China. paw the stories that you've heard and some of the tales that surround it are true but they don't always work that way and there are more than just the one that was cursed so do, so how does this work? Uh, what what? How much does that get us? He's pointing at the gold. Like what? What's the best thing that we can get here? Because we want to make sure that whatever we get is something that will definitely entice uh, this person. This I do is. believe that you've come here under pretense in such a way that's kind of interesting to me. I can offer you something a great deal more profitable than say a single item. Go on. The music is perfect. Do you not realize, Hugh, that you have access to something that is of a, a rather profound note? A collector of that caliber is seeking out objects of magical import and interest. And he, like, waves to his shop in a broad manner, waits for you to see if you get it. I, I think I get it. You're talking about the actual, like, get going to the marketplace in the first place, right? Be able to actually see these things. Yeah, in other words, you have access to the one and only through line that this chick would probably kill 50 million people to get to. Wait, can I just give her my pass? Yeah, well, she's I, like, I'm gonna do I wouldn't a, do that, but you're getting I'm going to do an education roll to see if I can actually pick up what you're throwing yeah. down here. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to use it because it's one of my, that's one of my, like, targeted skills. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 1d10 plus 14. <laughs> I'm learning. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I think I do. Oh, dang. Your rolls are so girthy now because you're writing out, like, sentences. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, so yes, he gets it. <laughs> right. And so I he think, leans forward. It's like a, I had a braid blast. Yeah. On the other hand, given the fact that you now have this realization, you've come here with a rather large sum of money. And it would appear that this large sum of money could probably get you some of what you're already looking for in another sense. There uh, are other wares here that are available to you. Is, does Hugh get it? Like He's basically just tell, Ma he's, Ma he's just straight up doing the salesperson thing now. He's Malcolm like trying to sell you shit. You just feel like a cold shadow go over your shoulder, <laughs> Hugh, as Malcolm whispers very quietly. He's saying to go shopping, Hugh. <laughs> so he's Every time. To, to, to your money? And he's like, I can have this gold converted and minted. It's worth just as much in that form as it would be anywhere else. So long That's as it's not been it previously way. minted in the first place, which this is not. Well, and he just looks at he looks at Danny and goes, "Well, Daniel, do you think your father would approve of you going shopping?" Uh, no, but this money's already spent as far as he's concerned, so we can use it for whatever we want. As long as we, you know, get him what he's paying for. Well, in this case, I do believe you've managed to acquire at least what you were looking for in first. Is that right, you? Like, he looks over to you. Uh, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I was typing out notes. <laughs> You're good. What he's basically saying, what Anubis is trying to imply, is that Hugh already got what he wanted, so now it's kind of sky's the limit. 
Cause... Yeah, it's like, so first thing is, uh, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, well, in your shop here, do you have, ah, uh, I noticed that uh, in our little kerfuffle back there, uh, Danny, uh, you were having some struggles. Is there anything that can help Danny uh, with his uh, concentration? Hey, I'm fine. Just performance, you know. He'd like you need some important performance enhancing uh, <laughs> items. Anyway, but Anubis raises an eyebrow. He's just sort of like, ah, first time jitters, is it? Well, I mean, <laughs> I've done a lot of evocation at home, you know, by myself. But then when you're with other people, hand in your defense, Daniel. And There's he just more. points like all the blood splatter on <laughs> let's <laughs> encased his body. There were some extenuating circumstances. <laughs> there was some more, just issues. more more fizzle than sizzle. I was like, oh, that'll well, happen. So Is there something uh, I could like focus on that would help me? As a matter of fact, right I have something that would fit that description rather accurately. Mind? Does it look good too? And he's just like it depends, but with that indicating the large brick of gold, he's like, I can find you whatever fetish you desire. And he goes Dude, wandering to the back. He I just leaves 15. it exactly like that. He's like, and as he's walking away and you make that statement, he's like, not that kind. Oh, Drew needs to talk. He <laughs> hasn't been here for two weeks. He needs to speak. Max, while all of this is going on, has no clue what the hell is going on. He's <laughs> wandering around. And he's just investigating, like, like he's poking his head out of the store. He's looking around the store um, with an investigation of eighteen. Does he come across anything that it's like, uh, this is what we should be looking at? Magic Zippo. A magic Zippo. Oh my god! Always lights on the third time. <laughs> but fucks off the first two. Yeah, like a you know, <laughs> not super magic. It's not super magic. Probably the because. most banal enchanted item ever. Um, so this zippo will light on the first strike. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting his four rooms, dude. <laughs> so Anubis comes back. He's got a small case. And he's like, I have a recommendation as well. I can suggest one of these, and he pulls open the the case in front of you, opening it lid away so that you can see Is inside. Is that Danny or Max? Danny. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, and Max will be kind of doing all that, and I will get to what he finds here in a moment. Um, but he opens this up, and he's like, you can select something in here. What seems to catch your eye? And if you want to do your awareness where you're kind of seeing things in the magical sense, go for it. I just imagined this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't load in uh, in Discord. Try Jiffy. Oh yeah. Okay, so I went to Harry Potter World with Inky. What? None of my gifs are opening. <laughs> and Why? that totally happened. That's who. Cool. Inky, Inky picked up the wand and. Mm. Everything. Yeah, see? For whatever reason, it doesn't want to show Harry Potter. Probably, you know, Warner Brothers. Comp. It's inappropriate because he's, he's gripping his wand. <laughs> he's just playing with his wand. What? So, yeah, you're in a magic store. How does Max feel about it? Is it not right? <laughs> because it's like the misuse of magic. He's poking around. He's, he's he seems okay with this. He's, he's for whatever reason he is in a daze. It's like as if he's not slept in days. He's not <laughs> certain what's going on. Like memories of things are flashing in out of his head. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. He just he doesn't even know if it's right or not. He's just like what the fuck just happened to me. I blacked out oh. for a few days. Oh. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> That's a one. 
on a D100. Isn't that, like, the best roll you can get? It's the god roll. One of. One of. Double lot's better. 69's yeah. best. But. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. I like the reason. You don't get to know. <laughs> Just hiding it in there. So Danny's looking for something stylish that he can have as a a uh, focus. Yeah. All right. Oh. What was your awareness check again? I think you put it in there. For for Drew? No, for you, Danny. I said you could roll with your magical awareness. Oh, I totally didn't do that. Okay. Everybody loves magical Trevor. Let me see. For the gift that he loves. I think this kid's just trying to spend his dad's money. Seriously, that roll made me do this. <laughs> just straight up. 21 for Danny. All right. Magical, <laughs> magical awareness. Blackjack. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go again. I don't know what it is about Anubis's shop. I should stop introducing it because things like this happen every fucking time. Yeah, All right. he's been a kind of a, a big part of our little world here. <laughs> That's for sure. Everybody needs a dealer. Say what? Oh, Spike Jones 16. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate oh, that. Oh, nice. Look at all that. Yeah, a little bit of spew. Thanks for the spew. Spew for the hue. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh. Well, oh, okay. You find you find yourself a silver bracelet. Now, what's interesting about the bracelet is that it has uh, a couple of points where there looks to be like settings for gems, but instead of gems, you actually see something that has been. This is Max. Not Max. This is Danny. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to figure out which one you're on. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm still bracelet. working with Danny. We're doing him Max after. That's the order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Focus. Um, so the the bracelet in and of itself looks like it's got gems, three of them, but the gems okay. themselves are comp comprised of the silver metal that this that the bracelet is. Okay, but they're kind of diamond. They're, they're a diamond configuration, not not like a not like a jewel, but diamond in the actual geometric shape. Um, and the bracelet looks uh, is a wider band, so it's masculine. And when you put it on, you actually see that something kind of happens where your your magical resonance field and it seem to kind of blend together really nicely. Ooh. There's actually some sort of synchronicity between the bracelet and the way that you actually see your own aura whenever you're paying attention like that. Which you're starting to notice that you can really just kind of focus in and see that stuff everywhere. It's not just that strange iridescent type reflection coming from out of prismatic objects. You can actually see people carrying on um, less colorful, but more like more solid type auras around their person. You can pick that up everywhere. It's not visible through objects or past walls, but when you're standing right in front of somebody, you can see it. Very nice. So cool little bracelet. Is it um, manipulable? Like can he malleable? You mean twist or turn anything? Uh, well, I see what you're saying. Uh, none of the objects seem to be befitting it, but. Uh, in this that's case, that's the first thing he's gonna do is try and like fiddle with a, you know, oh this part sticks out. Can I push it? Can I twist it? Like, yeah, this is what you get. Do do. <laughs> and he's a very curious person, so yes, he would bop it. Yeah, little rich kids. <laughs> Always spending their daddy's money. Daddy! Spend. Don't worry, uh, you can have a treat too from the bottom drawer since you are a good boy. <laughs> I'd kill this kid now. <laughs> Malcolm's ears will perk up. Nubis, is there any way I can just shoot this kid in your shop? <laughs> no. Like, what do I need to do? Do you have any, like, magic armor or something for my friend here? Actually, that's what he was going to ask about. <laughs> He's just going to point to Barnaby, who's, like, taking Oh, no, he wanted, a, he wanted a magical trench coat. That, uh, you know, has slight repulsion. This one up off of a hobo in the alley. <laughs> His name was Harry. Okay. 
So it, this is what you're going to wind up getting, all right? What? It's not something I've ever done before, but it sounds cool. So you're going to get a modular focus is what it is. So whenever you go into an encounter or a scene or whatever else, you can choose to do one of two things. You can either have it do an extra die to all of your spell casting to improve it, which is what a standard focus does anyway, or you can apply three automatic successes, just three for that encounter, spread across spells and any kind of, div, you know, like you can okay. divide that up in any way you like. So you can have one spell that does automatic three successes, hell yeah, or you can do one, two, three spells, or one with two, one with one, but as soon as they're gone, that's the end of it for the encounter, and that's it. So you get to wow. pick how you want to approach your encounter that's upcoming. That's hundred gets you. <laughs> Does it recharge every, like... Uh, yeah, once the encounter or the scene is ended, then it goes, bleep, flips back. That's a badass item. Damn. Yeah. But you have that to... That on your sheet and some of it. Damn, that's right. That's yeah. how it should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danny's gonna just, like, oh, shiny, and just... Because he's got, he's got his... Um, <laughs> he's gonna put it on his right hand, because on his left wrist he's got his watch like a smart mm -hmm. race with the mono wire so he's gonna have this on the right <laughs> see this is why we don't roll these phil mm -hmm. <laughs> oh and while the while he's talking and right before uh right before max finds whatever he's finds uh he's gonna be like he, he gets a little note in the, out it's like oh by the way uh spike says hi <laughs> to <Anubis. laughs> Spike says hi. Might as well include the viewer in there. Yeah. <laughs> What's a, uh, does Anubis know who Spike is? <laughs> well, so the funny thing is, is that the um, God, I think it was because your original crew. Do you remember why he can do that? Why it is he knows everybody who walks into his shop. So the original team that you guys played as worked a deal with Raphael in specific. Because you had found his brother Michael. And what that deal with Raphael was um, happened to be that there was a bit of negotiating for Anubis. He had negotiated a deal with Raphael to know everyone and everything that he needed for his shop for the next 20 years if he was able to successfully release his brother Michael from prison. Wow. So, That's pretty good power. Yeah. That's when you're talking business. If you know everything that's coming down your pipe, you are doing really good. So wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Anubis got this power from getting Michael out of the prison. Yeah, he got. He so sent you guys out there to go get him. Yeah, he's guaranteed. Yep, yeah, he managed to pull it off because you guys were successful. He knows everybody who walks into his shop, no matter when, because it's all it's all determined. So when you guys come in there, it's already known to him. So, so, we got sent out on a wild goose chase years ago. Did we weren't aware of this? Were we? Was this like some? You side heard, thing you we... overheard it, but because it was so subtle, most of you didn't pick up on it. <laughs> but nice. yeah, your original crew you... is the reason why he knows everybody who walks into in. his place. That's funny. That's cool. That was a hell of a fight going through hell. NPCs get uh, level ups too. <laughs> Especially the ones that are trapped like that. All over the Twitch. Where are you getting uh, all these forest animals? <laughs> I've been a part of a few hype trains. That's I where these guys. I see that. Out. My goodness. <laughs> a lot of the other ones are just unlocked for me. Yep. Uh, boing. Boing. <laughs> and I um, got randomly gifted a sub that had kitties. It was King Dill Pickle, and his. Uh, his emotes that's what these are yeah so. well all right well danny's got a happy bracelet he's he's content yeah <laughs> yay -hoo! and we determined that the total amount of your gold worth was what five hundred fifty-five thousand or some shit like that yeah i don't know what that translates to in uh, anubis speak but there you go well this one here is going to be 14 e boop all right I actually have to have a freaking calculator for this. All right, Maxwell. You're meandering the shop. Because the shop, because I rolled as an overall, 
fucking ones, let me tell you. You come across an old-fashioned set of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Shouldn't be in a place like this at all. <laughs> nice. Perfect. That's exactly what Maxwell says as soon as he sees them. He, like, stops and goes, Nice. <laughs> that, I remember these from when I was a kid. When the city was a shining, glorious place, you'd put them on and it made the, the dark world a lot brighter. Anubis, wh what are these? What, what are these? These, right here. Yeah, you should probably <laughs> try them on. Can I? can I? Can I put them on? He just waves in, he waves in a gesture of complicence. He just goes ahead. And and he puts them on. I gotta find. I gotta find something. <laughs> oh, he's doing the research now. <laughs> nice. What does he see? Where'd you pop that? Because I. Oh, in the <laughs> OC. Is that where it wound up? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right. So, um, <laughs> love that one. I like the take it off one, but yeah. All right. So you put these glasses on, and there's this kind of like weird room on your temples they fit very comfortably there is everything is shaded at the moment and then when you start to look around that dimness of the light goes away and you can see just fine it doesn't seem to be of any any particular note right at the moment but if you look at something that dimness goes down again but when you look away it comes back up it's auto focusing whatever it is you think that's basically about it whenever there is a small little message that starts to scroll across the bottom of the of the sunglasses what's the message say well it's indecipherable at the moment but you see more of it coming up and it starts to have english lettering after a little while most of it's runic maybe cuneiform at the start but then it flexes into something else almost like hieroglyphics almost like it's traveling upward through time and then you see the English lettering, and it finally starts to composite itself into a full translated format. And then it just says, hello, question mark? <laughs> hello, awesome glasses. <laughs> yeah, he's just wearing a set of Ray-Bans inside. Hello, awesome glasses. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She was actually going to laugh out loud. Like, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Oh, my God. I had a pair like this once. <coughs> I went out rafting on a lake. Oh. I lost them. <laughs> come Lord back to me. <laughs> and it's like it, you can see the little like there's kind of like some kind of an indication that there's something coming back, and it's like oh life story that's interesting. I'm not those glasses, but. I'm glad I make you feel good. You can't really discern if it's sarcastic or not. It's like, hey, is there any chance you can get me the hell out of here? <laughs> What's in it for me? Uh, dot, dot, dot. There's a lot in it for you. Obviously, I can communicate with you without actually making any sound. Wait a second. And all of a sudden, Max starts thinking in his head, can you hear me now? <laughs> it's like yes although that seems a bit louder and he's still in his head oh this is cool I think we can work together what do you need I just need you to pay for me to get me the hell out of here why are you here uh, the guy who owned me last decided he didn't want to keep me around and he sold me at this place been here for a while probably about 50 60 years now it's getting really boring i've been looking at the same thing for at least that long perhaps we can work together like i said pay for me and i'll go where you go just as long as you get me out of here and i look really good in these glasses 
You look saying that out loud. Yeah, he was like, really good in these glasses. You look fantastic. <laughs> All caps and italicized. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Anubis, what can you tell me about these glasses? Like, how much are they? Are, they're, they're so amazing. Well, it's like, you still have plenty enough. He just taps the gold bar with his knuckle. He's just like, you still have plenty enough to walk out with those and then some spare change on top of that. Nice. What can you tell me about these glasses besides... Are they authentic? Are these, like, original Ray-Bans? Yes, I believe they were. They were? Did well, something happen to them? I don't know about you, but I don't think that there's ever been a set of Ray-Bans ever in existence that's had some kind of soul imprint on them, like that, anyway. There's a soul in here? And it's like... My... <laughs> On the inside, you see the message coming across. It's sort of like, yes, that's why I'm talking to you. These are the coolest ray bands ever. <laughs> I want these. I mean, just look at me. Look at me. These are really cool. Hey, Hugh, what do you think? <laughs> Looking sharp, <laughs> Max. All I had to and do to make genuine. Maxwell happy is give him a set of shades. Like, what? Yeah, that's all he needed in life. Um, Danny, all those be... things I said about your dad, I take them back. Things about <laughs> you, right. I still think are true. Nice. Uh, Hugh's going to be like, well, since we are shopping, uh, do you happen to have any uh, any trench coat-like things or something I could wear over my body that would uh, protect me from kinetic force? I feel like we're going to be doing that in an upcoming days. <laughs> I can see if I have something for you, but I probably am not the best for such a thing. Uh, where, where could I go? I, I definitely am in the market. Are such cool glasses. <laughs> Matt, do you have a mirror anywhere? I really need to see what I look like, because these are pretty awesome. <laughs> what were you asking, <laughs> Drew? He wants a mirror. He wants a mirror? Oh. He's like, over there. Oh my god, I look like a sex god. It's like, please don't wear me if you ever do that. <laughs> I'm never taking you off. <sighs> you just actually see it go, boop, like that, because you only see the F and the three asterisks. Oh, I like you. What's your name? I don't remember. Nice to meet you. I don't remember. Max Smart. Oh, my God. <laughs> there is this, like, pause, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and then again, boop, like that with the F and the three asterisk. Um, yeah, so this will be one of those items that you will learn what it's capable of as you go along because Anubis doesn't really know much but he knows that they're harmless in the sense that they aren't cursed so <laughs> but they do have certain qualities that he's noted and has priced them accordingly <laughs> and I'll give you those stats later yeah, so no don't problem. let me forget nice. um, Danny's gonna look at Max and be like Hey, nice shades. <laughs> Kiddo. And for some reason, Max sounds a lot nicer than Danny all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> like seeing seeing Night City as it should be. Um, <laughs> He's got his rose colored glasses on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all. That's all this guy ever wears. It's a nice pair of shades. All right. Well, let's see here. He's gonna open this up. What we got? Ooh. Oh my god, that's actually a really good, well, maybe not a really good, I don't think we should give that power to the chat. Did you see what uh, Game Cat said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, make it so that there's a channel ch point redemption so that someone can auto crit or auto fail, like next roll. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking about stuff like that um, to a degree. It's kind of what, uh, but we will have the options to be able to make something like that happen. 
<laughs> make it like oh, yeah, we can make it really expensive, yeah, mm -hmm. so that people can't abuse it. Yeah, that would be an interesting way to go at it. And uh, that Anubis comes back and he's like, unfortunately, I don't really have something that would fit your particular need. Most most of what I have here is more in the bobble category. I would say that you wouldn't want to go and visit Valkyrie's Quicksilver, and that would be where you'd find what you're looking for. But I need to take what's already been pulled in terms of payment from this. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how much we have left after that. Uh, but first, uh, it's like, well, hold on. Uh, Malcolm, we're here. Let's, uh, let's load up. It just kind of looks around. It's just like... I mean, he kind of taps the blade of the hilt of the blade of the orphan <laughs> clan. <laughs> says, "Well, I got something here last time, but you know, he look he looks at his clothes and he looks at like everybody else and says, ah, I guess I could just more of the times." He said, "Valkyrie, right? Valkyrie, Valkyrie kid Quicksilver." He, he's Valkyrie. looking at a notepad. He wrote it down mm -hmm. for clothing. Mm. I yeah, we need to get some new. Uh, yeah, did you need pants? <laughs> I and he just oh. stops and goes. Posture check. Oh. Yeah, I am properly attired. Yeah, Thank I'm you. getting tired of your skirt too, man. When you were swirling around, I saw stuff I shouldn't have seen. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh, just saying, I can tell that funny. you don't go out in the sunlight. Let's just say. And on that note, thank you, Mr. Navis. I think you've given Hugh and I some place we can go. And, yeah, let, let's do the exchange, too, so they can see how much <laughs> of, of uh, course. magic money we have left. Well, he... Anubis does something, and he manages to withdraw from this bar of gold a precise amount which he weighs it takes him several minutes to get this process completed and after doing some calculation manages to separate his portion of payment from the bar leaving the rest of it inside the case hmm. dang how much did all that cost that we got from uh, well you have 184,000 out of 555,000 so far so that should give you an idea as to just how spendy this place can be so we still have like 300 something left you have 184,000 left over oh left uh, sorry i thought you said that's how much we spent okay no no that would be the remainder sir <laughs> what does that equal in uh magic money 184,771 oh okay we're just changing thought... it to like cool coins instead of bricks yeah it's, well, yeah. Un it's unminted gold so it's worth what it's worth oh we're, breaking, cool. we're making change you know, breaking hundreds into twenties. Yeah, something like that. Cool. This is uh, this is the best Max. thing someone's ever bought me. This is gonna sound weird, but if I say my grandpa used to have sunglasses like that, I'm not trying to say that you look old. <laughs> Actually, Actually inside the glasses, in, like inside the glasses there, Maxwell, when he makes that comment, you just see this like, fuck that kid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and in Max's head, he's like, thank you. I'm glad somebody gets it. This kid <laughs> bunk. No manners, doesn't know what's going on, doesn't respect his elders. Oh, someone would just like. Are you saying car. that or thinking that? He's thinking all of this. Like, in okay, his head, really hard. Maxwell is thinking this. Danny was giving you an actual compliment. Yeah, well, but these Ray-Bans can't change their shape, so he's oh, he's going to wind up out of style eventually. Because <laughs> those sunglasses are from when Danny's grandfather was, like, wearing them. Yep. They're vintage. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's like Captain Kirk's pair of glasses. <clears throat> yeah, but apparently the glasses are a little testy. But then again, being stuck staring at something for 60 years, I'd be testy too. Well, they're, you know, conservative because they haven't changed in 60 years. <laughs> Yikes. So, with the... Uh... <laughs> Jesus. Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, that I'm ready is there for, like, a frame. Yeah. <laughs> 
whenever you uh, finally get to a point where you realize you don't have the uh, amount that you've got, I think Malcolm, you were like, I think I've got what I need. Uh, is what I got from that last interaction. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And basically said, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do anything, I'll do it on clothing, like you said. Yeah, yeah. we're we're on the same wavelength there. Yeah. Okay. So, Valkyrie's Quicksilver is where you're headed to next. Well, of course, he's going to, you know, say bye uh, to Anubis. Thank you again. And all the salutations and, you know, all the. Yeah. That's like cordial. Yep. Silva's just like scratching her head, just kind of like staring at things and kind of uh, still sort of impressed by the place. I mean, it's all glass cases, amber lighting and just really, really pretty all the way around. But uh, yeah. Maxwell's walking out and he's just kind of like, you know, we got all this really cool stuff. We even have money enough to actually get the item we really need. I mean, it's cool that we're definitely like marked up, and I am not giving these glasses back. But you know, just I'm just saying, like, we came to get something to trade for the sands of time, and we walked out with cool shit. Like, does does your dad always just give you money to buy stuff, kid? He's trying um, to save his son. Hugh said. Also, I earn my own money. Have you not been watching the competitive card scene? <laughs> so, Max, Mr. Nubis said we didn't have to buy anything. All we have to do is tell. Yeah, hook up a client. One, all we have to do is basically introduce Natalia to this wondrous place, and that is price enough. And Barnaby's like, kind of walking around, it's like, well, if you think about it, he's thinking like a businessman all the way through and has been. He's, he's getting a client, and she's getting yeah. what she wants. More so First than a single three. vase, no matter how amazing, might be having access to all of that. So basically, we're showing up at this chick's house with all our cool new gear, saying, look at our cool new gear. You want to know where we got it from? No, not a, no. No, we're going to have to be more eloquent than that, Max. We're going to have to tell her that we have information, and we're going to have to be tight-lipped about it until she actually gives us what we're after. But we're also going to have to prove that it exists. Which well, Can we get her a token? I mean, we could probably talk to Bert. I mean, he's pretty much let everybody in so far. Does Bert get a cut? I don't know. I don't... Bert's Bert. Is there I'm not... he hasn't let in? I'm not Bert's union. Like... I mean, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> if you let anybody in this place, it's not special. Uh, yeah, I think that there's probably something more going on than just that. Nobody gets in without a pass, and the only reason why we got let in is because, uh, honestly, I mean, so is least, this place like Costco? He's, he just leans like, back past the pass over to get in, Malcolm. But gets past. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Fucking A. He leans into Malcolm a little bit. He's like, honestly, I think that Bert's just a nice guy. I mean, would you like him not to be? No. In a bad mood? No. He, like, da- he looks over at you, Danny. He's like pinching his nose. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> when you get over to uh, Valkyrie... Um, Valkyrie, yeah, Valkyrie Quicksilver. When you get there, it's got the traditional sort of Icelandic type inscriptions all scrawled on the old-fashioned wooden sign on the outside. You're in, you're within the larger part of the central spiral. And that means that you're looking at more advanced uh, sort of quasi-technological buildings. Most of them are three to four stories high. Excuse me. Um... And when you step on the inside, of course, you also bypass a certain shop that Malcolm would remember. It's called the Scarlet Scrawl because you see the same sort of odd demonic entity on the inside panning through pages from some of the shelves and obviously taking care of some of his talk. (laughs) Um, When you arrive and step inside, it's got the more old-fashioned woody and composite look to it. it there is definitely magic in this place 100 percent for sure for that and danny if you if you want to try rolling an awareness to see how things kind of line up you can but try to imagine the um uh almost like a lodge with wooden floors lots of lacquer quiet fireplace going off someplace there are definitely points of gear in here that look very modern 
You can see Kevlar vests. You can also see certain kinds of survival supplies that are located in this shop. There are also coats of mail, which look to be very well done. You've got some king's mail in there. You have standard 4x4 mail. Um, there are hauberks and other kinds of items, including breeches. That's, they look normal for the most part, but there's got to be something to them, given the fact. They auto-adjust when you walk on a hot summer day. <laughs> Those look really cool, but not as cool as these way bats. Just... Uh, 26 <laughs> on my magical awareness. There seems to be a door towards the back past the extraordinarily lovely young woman, or at least she appears young, except for the fact that she's also radiating magic herself, um, that is closed that apparently keeps something kind of large out of the way. It might be a side office, perhaps. You're not exactly sure what, but there's definitely a lot of resonance coming off that door. I feel it calling me. Uh, you. There's a lot of magic y stuff behind that door. Well, uh, before he even acknowledges that, he's like, Hello, good miss. I am you, uh, man, no. at your service. There's a lot of magic y stuff behind that door. And not even looking at Danny as Hugh's doing, Hey, I'm Hugh, man. He just looks says, No, Danny. No. No, and then for he, you. And then he, and then he, and then he oh. Mm -hmm. He's just a little taken aback that, like, Danny's <laughs> being, like, so... And he's like, well, let's talk. And he's, and he's a little taken aback. Let's, let's let the like human do his thing and talk to the nice lady. <laughs> Turn over a new leaf. In Max's head, he's just going, does this kid like to buy his friends? That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglasses got me out of the shop yeah well whoa good lord yep just like violently uh, like thrown into that one yeah no easy transition unfortunately um the shop uh you know you're you're saying you no know, this woman looks to be she's lean athletic She's wearing very light clothing, but has the muscle structure of somebody who does a lot of hard labor. <laughs> Bunch of shit emojis. <laughs> I, I totally forgot I turned my camera off like 10 minutes ago. Sorry. Oh, that. yeah. You've just been chilling out. It was blocked. And I was like, wait, what the hell? So I've been gesturing this whole time. Well, I just joined a... Uh... I just joined a Vanguard <laughs> strike, and it's talking about, and then I heard Cage Six's voice, and I'm like, I'm hopping on Discord now to tell them about it. Well, yeah, you hopped into the wrong channel, friend. <laughs> yeah, we're in the middle of our uh, game night. My You're on stream. You're on stream, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm on stream now. Hello, on stream. On stream. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go. <laughs> See, See you later. later. <laughs> All right. Oh, we need to fix the street level thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was They're hilarious. Anybody into this Wonderland now, aren't they? Jeez. It's supposed to be handling security. <laughs> Wait, we it was locked at one point. Yes, but it's not there anymore. Clearly, because anybody who yeah, well, anybody who's anybody yeah. can just jump in. Apparently. Well, and, uh, that's true. Anyone who's street level and oathbound can get in, and I think everyone is oathbound. No, not everybody. It's actually a much smaller group than you think. All right. Fancy clothing store. Yeah. Well, she just turns up to you and she looks at all of you come walking in, and Silvis is kind of gawking at some of this. Um. She's like, greetings. You. This is where you talk. Sorry, I was looking at the rolls. Uh, <laughs> what'd she say? Sorry, totally she not said, paying attention. She's, dude, and Just Danny's gonna you. like bump your elbow, and he's gonna be like, "Hello, fair shopkeeper." Uh, he already said <laughs> that. Well, she said greetings back, and now she was waiting. 
So. Oh. My friend would like to procure some. <laughs> no, uh, he's in his flow. I mean, he's like, uh, well, what is your name? You can just call me Silver for now. Silver, well, as I said, I'm Hugh, and he hands her the business card. If you ever need any help, I'm here. But I'm here for your help today. Clearly. And so he slaps the money down on the table and is like... Just a chunk of so fucking gold, yeah. My associate and I uh, would like to see... No, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> my associate and I are looking How for... How hard would that be? Uh, uh, some uh, magical clothing. Uh, and we were led to by Anubis... <laughs> For you, uh, you're the shop that Anubis pointed out to for the best uh, clothing around. Is that true? Well, I'm not a clothier nor a tailor, but I do actually work in certain kinds of armor, as you already can see. Armor, yes. Uh, well, so I am looking for some kind of uh, uh, something I can wear over myself that would protect me from uh, kinetic force, uh, bullets, claws, pretty much anything that would uh, rupture me, my squishy flesh body. That's what armor's for. That's what it does. It helps with that. Is there something specific? But I also specific? want to make sure that... Yeah, well, I'm looking... I would like something like a trench coat. Something that I can wear outside of uh, outside of the marketplace that doesn't look like I'm going to a renaissance fair, if possible. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure that those are far outside of your price range, even with that. And Hugh, or Hugh, uh, Malcolm, what are you looking for? Myself. Oh wait. He just kind of looks at you, looks and says, "Yeah, hey, Lady Silver. I'm looking for a little bit more protection, but at the same time, I've told I've been having to." And just kind of gestures, update my look. I think you look just fine. I said so myself. Hmm. Well, don't buy into everyone else's fashion. It changes far too frequently and becomes far too uh, ridiculous too quickly as well. And she looks over at Hugh. I believe I have something for you. If you're looking for some sort of outdoor wear that will add some protection, there are things that I can administer, although it won't be your typical garden variety armored coat. Excellent. I'm happy to oblige. It will take me a little bit of time. I don't have one in stock at the moment, but I do have one that I can build. Well, that sounds like we came to the right place. Yes, then. By the way, so your glasses, Max, are picking up on everything else like that. You can see some of it's prattling, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of just going off. What's interesting is that the verbiage goes across, and you're starting to read it so quickly that it's almost just in your head you don't hear a voice you kind of make one up yourself because it's all text um but it's starting to be a fully fledged communication at this time and it's happening fast and it's getting faster but while you're looking at things it actually gives you this kind of weird like wireframe around lady silver and starts to bring up all kinds of interesting information This is interesting. Slow down. Blow down. Like, yeah. What was well, that? It looks like she's some kind of half-breed sylvan elf of a sort or another. Long-lived. Well, uh, well tended to certain kinds of mass magical craftsmanship, which is why she owns this shop. She also seems to have, and you look at the doorway, it outlines the door, and really it's like that door seems to be where she's keeping all of her more important gear probably the forge where she makes all this stuff well now that's something special and he sits there and he's just taking it in he's getting this realization that he now has additional information on things and he's like what other cool things can you tell me and he turns and looks at Danny uh, nothing there. Moving on. <laughs> age restricted. Age restricted. Uh, age restricted. I don't. Yeah, me... he's like, I don't look at minors. Like, <laughs> yeah, does it give me like name of the person and like all on stats? Of... It's a character sheet. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. 
the Ray-Bans of Metasite. Oh my god. <laughs> the sheep pops up. <laughs> that's what they're called now. So, they right. might as well be, but that's not what they do. Yeah, you don't get a name. You don't get any information that you wouldn't know that is specific to their person. However, like, specific to their, like, social world. But you get specifications if they are magical in some sense. You don't get an exact depiction of, like, age, but you more or less get, like, a threat assessment of a very sophisticated level. There's no threat assessment that could ever possibly come in. Um, from technological standpoint, that would, could be, one, likely this accurate, or two, this adaptable. Like, it can go everywhere. When your thinking goes down a certain line, it answers those questions, because it's tapped into your head. So when you're assessing shit, you're you're getting that feedback almost immediately. So this is like answering every question I've ever had about this world. Well, it's this giving is, you some pretty in-depth information about it. Yeah. These and he's just sitting there staring at everything. Like he's staring at the door right now. These are the coolest glasses ever. This is Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, he's just he doesn't even know what to tell. He's just like Thank you. And he looks over and just goes, and he kind of like leans back and very slyly looks at what was her name again? Her name was Silver. Silver she called herself Silver. Mm -hmm. Silver, you've been <laughs> making some fine equipment. What would it take to get to the more special wares behind the door? And she looks at you very carefully, and she acknowledges the fact that you have something unusual in your head. And right when that happens, the glass is like, ah, crap, she knows. <laughs> and, like, she's like, that is my forge and has nothing to do with my customers. Thank you. No problem. Fine products that you make here. My glasses really like them. Actually, you see her silhouette again. It's like, actually, I like that. Like, just <laughs> basically, like, reindicating the woman again. <laughs> <laughs> So, she's like, I will have some a courier sent whenever I have the coat ready for you. Shouldn't take terribly long. Less than a day what or two. What about uh, my man, Mal? I don't know. I think he's fashionable. <laughs> well, since you think I'm so fashionable and I do love that uh, lady discriminating tastes, how do we maybe... Uh, nine yards of proper fabric that's a little bit more shall we say significantly more reinforced than good Scottish wool more reinforced than Scottish wool you're gonna gird your loins properly I think that I can uh, give you something that's actually far more comfortable with modern day attire that will still offer some protection I'm thinking that you're probably going to want some kind of, well, you're going to want something that goes with that, indicating the, you know, nine yards of Scottish fabric that being woven around everything. She's like, I can probably acquire it to where you can actually wear it more like a sash or something similar. That way it doesn't have to be discarded completely. It seems to me that you have some kind of connection with it, kind of staring it down. It says, hey. I do. You gotta like. You have to stay with the older things every once in a while. Just kind of pats his pats his good old trusty weapons and everything else. She nods again. I can't agree more. Well then, I'll take what is due. And if you are recommended to me by Anubis, then you should know he recommends no one unless they have a very good reputation. Oh, and he was gonna look like touched. I was like, oh, I have to let him know that. Uh, I have to get him a gift next time I see him. Careful with those. He's very smart. Well, needless to say, I will take care of payment, and I'll need to get your own measurements. Et poses right there. <laughs> <laughs> She takes what she needs from the gold using some other kind of what looks to be like old-fashioned tool, but <laughs> it's basically like a, a handheld guillotine 
the scary part is that she doesn't seem to exert a terrible amount of effort. And it's kind of like this, pulling downward, and it causes the plunger to go down and sever the part that she needs. But she just goes shriek like that, and you can see the chunk of the gold fall apart. And again, zero effort. <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah. She sets back what the remainder is, and she's like, that is yours. How much do we have left? One, like he's gonna ask her, and I was like, "How much? How much is left there?" And she's like, mm, "Possibly a hundred and ten thousand pieces or so, maybe." Hundred ten thousand dollars, I think you call it. Credits, maybe. What is it you use for currency these days? Uh, credits. Somewhere close to one hundred and ten thousand credits. Excellent. This is some good stuff. I didn't know such beauty existed in the world. <laughs> and at this moment, Max is staring. He's just sitting in a full length mirror. <laughs> uh, you need to have a name. We gotta get you a name. Every anything cool but what you called me this. before. Anything but that. We're gonna call you badass. <laughs> it's just like dot 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 no response <laughs> I finally have a friend <laughs> from That's the bottom part of that it's like I really don't want to sound ungrateful but you are a very sad man well you have payment. She gets everybody's measurements. Decides that she's going to put some things into uh, into the works, and you have a chunk of bullion that is roughly one fifth, a little less than one fifth its original size. Sounds like a good day. Let's mm -hmm. head out. Yeah, so a hundred. Oh, and she also gets your information so she can send said courier to get you. Of course. Uh, she doesn't have precognizance and doesn't know exactly where you live. Yeah, we would have done our, our things and he would have thanked her profusely and all that good stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah, so the marketplace itself finally dissolves itself. Silva having kept to the back and kind of just watching things. Uh, also gotta do this again. <laughs> God. Hey, Bunny Bacon. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Hi there. Ooh. First time view. With, so, we're doing a system of my own design. It's been in the works now for two, over two and a half years. And, uh. 20. The, yeah, it's been 20 that I've been running, playing, screwing around with it. Yeah. Yeah. But in all seriousness, it's been compiled in the last two and a half years. Um, but it's becoming finalized and we've got a lot of stuff going on for it. <laughs> so it's just, it's called the synergy system. Yep. Yeah, he's got me. I'm talking, <laughs> he's typing, same shit, same wavelength. We're giga derping. Yeah. It's because we connect on the uh, marketing level too. I know the words we've been using to describe you guys have that way you can better leverage the audience. Synergy. Synergy. <laughs> I'm really bl glad I got Bill's cringe right there. Like, oh, yeah, I hate that stuff too. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for stopping in at least. All right, so yeah, everybody's got what they need. Silva seems to be somewhat uh, um, happy with herself. Not really sure why, but. Uh, What now? Silva, uh, do you want any, anything? Oh, he's going to be hitting on her. We have 110,000 left. Oh. oh. <laughs> Danny She's is like, happy to spend money that's not his. Yeah. 
Well, in this case, she's like, well, actually, there is something I was wanting to do. I wanted to look around a little bit because there's a damn good chance. And she's like looking around that I might be able to find a gate or many more gates. And I could use that. And I know for sure that this place doesn't have anything that Lucian would be able to find. I might actually have my bolt hole. Do you... Bye, really good what dog do you walks. need? Just like, well, let's have a little bit of a longer look around and see what we can see. Just for a minute. And hopefully all of you don't get swallowed into some other crazy weird land of murder or whatever that was. <laughs> if we Malcolm do, I'll be just kind of like I'll be ready. Right blood off his... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The if Hugh's gonna it, hand uh, oh my good. <laughs> Silva or uh, the Hugh hand Silva the the rest of the gold and is like well uh, let's get you let's get you what you need. <laughs> she just sees just slaps it in there. Wait what? <laughs> she doesn't need all the gold. <laughs> oh you're right Danny here let me give it to you so you can give it to her. Oh my god. <laughs> but no she's looking for a spot for her skipping portal thing. Everyone else got something. She should get something. She just like is kind of staring at the gold at this point. Now it's traded hands, but he was slapped into her hand for a minute. She's like, "That's a lot heavier than I would have thought." Oh, Daniel, Daniel, yeah. give her ten, uh, ten k. <laughs> Wait, it's just one chunk. You can't unless you could break it apart. Um, you yeah. break by stuff in here. Ten k. Come on, kid. Live a little. <laughs> But anyway, let's let's walk and find you a spot, because we kind of ruined your deal. Okay. Everybody loves magical treasure. You're meandering through the marketplace, and you come across something that sounds quite interesting. And I need to take a quick moment to adjust. Danny's just gonna like look around with looking for magic y like possibly another portal spot or breach or something. Mm, there's probably something here. Drew gained a level. Good job, Drew. <laughs> nice. I didn't know I had to do that anymore. Good lord, Bill. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh that's that's Michael. freaking Pennywise. <laughs> I know, but that's Michael so scary. scary. <laughs> oh, Tim Curry. That's what he looks like when he takes the makeup off, actually. Um, yeah, that's his, he's all natural. <laughs> When you start to meander through the shops and things like that and spiraling outward towards the, uh, more towards the rim of the marketplace, you come across this place that seems to be rather intense. And once Silva kind of stops at this area, there's a lot of traffic going in and out here, okay? So you've got like humans and supernatural co, co mingling. And going crazy. Oh, we actually get to see humans. Cool. Yeah. There are a bunch of them here. It's not just all supernatural beings and stuff like that, but there are a fair number of humans that are actually moving through this small area. The roadway opens out, and you guys are standing in front of the small coliseum that actually is part of the marketplace area. And Silva is very much intrigued with what she's looking at. And is examining the, the spaces. Coliseum, the areas, the roadway, all of it. <laughs> so, she's just kind of trying to keep her eyes out. She's like, is this what I think it is? Just kind of like hearing the sounds of what seems to be crowds fighting and a lot of excitement. <laughs> Damn it, you beat me to it. 
That's exactly what I was going for, too. <laughs> You're gonna go wrestle like Riv? He's... Oh god. I'm oh, wrath. Uh, uh, that she was so it. fucking lucky. Dude, she so was. You got you got the like iron body or whatever. And she was probably strength. in real life the luckiest character I've ever seen. Like, not, oh, I'm lucky in the game, yeah. No, like, seriously. Yeah, yeah. No, like, actually. Actually fucking lucky. Get the correct uh, things when you get them. How many times did we go through and Rib's skin or whatever Rib power. did, yeah. combination of powers, ultimately redirected and saved the group in the story? It was perfect every single time. Every it was cinematic. Time. It felt like we. It felt like D and I talked about it beforehand. <laughs> yeah. was like, okay, at this oh, moment, we need these two specific powers. <laughs> Rip running in the you, middle like, of a battle and slide on the board to shoot, and then behind enemy lines where she should get killed comes out. Right. It's like Rip. Ken rolls the dice in real life and goes, "Oh look, invisibility and super strength." <laughs> 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 That's the best part about uh, the the dice made though, because you guys yeah. got this hit live. It was great. Out. Found this bad guy into the ground. So it's like a fighting area. Yeah, and it's busy, bustling. And she's like, "This is perfect. This is perfect, 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 perfect." What uh, makes it fight? No, my no. sunglasses are perfect. She's like, this... she's like reaching into her stuff, and she ends up pulling out some kind of what looks to be maybe a gem, something like that. It, but it's rooted into a metal backing and she's just holding on to it and she's holding on to it in the palm of her hand with her with her fingers just loosely open and she's looking at this and she keeps like moving around and kind of doing this thing where she's going back and forth when she starts to get close to something you can see an illumination inside of that small crystalline object that she's got and it's about the size of a dollar piece so it's not that small but the uh, the the high polished domed gem that is inside of that in that that setting just starts to glow and she follows it through and when she looks around certain specific areas there seem to be these warbles and if you want to roll awareness you all can um with the bonus benefit of awareness of her magic for danny there and this is not danger sense not danger sense no Twenty-six. Nice. Thirteen. Not bad. You happen to notice that there are strange resonance vapors that are kind of protruding whenever the gem gets close. And your glasses, Max, they've kind of picked this up because she goes walking close and I, you identify what, what's going on there. There seems to be, it's like, oh, that's a reader stone or a reading stone. Is it a reading stone? Like it's actually prattling to itself again. It's like, it's a reading stone. It's basically <laughs> capable of actually finding certain temporal distortions. Is it temporal? No, it's not temporal. Damn, I haven't had anybody to talk to in a long time. Spatial. It's a spatial disturbance of some sort or another. It finds them. It's badass. And whenever you actually see those vapors kind of protruding through, she ends up putting the stone away. And then it acknowledges that as like that, right there. That's a gate. Gates go places. Yes, they do. Where's it but go? Those gates do don't know? really go anywhere that you might know. You have to travel through it first. Let's go, Q says. Well, Silva, what are you looking for? You asking Silva that? Yeah. Yeah, Silva's like, what I just found. <laughs> There's a damn Which gate is, here. Yes, there, there is a gate. Does that mean you can get in and out without going through the front? Yeah, but problem is I haven't been through this one, so I don't know where it leads. Oh, and that's when Do that's why he was saying, "Let's go." Map and them or I have been through enough of those portals and not knowing where they're going, so let's not do that tonight, you. <laughs> Oh, no, when we come back next week, we're going to have a conversation about that. Yep. And with that... Oh, not that one. Wrong me channel. Yeah, I know.
Hold on. It's weird. I'll something. fix it. Yeah, yes, let's it do it again. Weird. Do it again. <laughs> okay, so next week we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a conversation about that. <laughs> about jumping. You guys are beating me to the punch here. Hold on. <laughs> it's fucking buried. Uh, You're killing us, D. K- killing us. Why is it that one? I don't get it. I mean, okay. it's technically correct because it has. It, it's it just makes new. Makes sense that uh, the crossroads should have other like secret entrances into it that like more powerful people travel. Got it. In fact, didn't the um uh um. Was, what was it? The Silk Road? What's her yeah. name? Didn't she have a way to get into the crossroads without going through the main door? So the Silk Road is kind of like if Skip Gates had maps, and more importantly, yeah. uh, maps because she was going through and mapping them, but had extremely stable gateways that she had access to, as opposed to ones that hide and require special means of access. Ooh, I think I've got a major milestone, don't I? Uh, yeah, anybody who's yeah. been playing consistently, yeah, this is episode 15, so... Woo. This is my thirteenth session. Oh, oh snap. but Drew, is this ten for you? This is eight. Okay. <laughs> I had a I had a falling out the last few weeks have not been kind to me. Oh, you're good. Uh, wow, I've got a lot of choices now that I have a, my first major milestone under me. Mm-hmm. Right. Wait. If this it is should 15, be a minor. It should be a minor mil- this is milestone. A minor. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's what I thought. It's a milestone, yes. <laughs> and it's still... We lost Scott. Uh, cool. Oh, you know, there he is. Level up. Oh, okay. It sped the fucking audio through. It's, like, it's yeah, kind of... It's cool, but... Oh, wait, you guys all froze. <laughs> like you had just, like, the end of a 90s sitcom. Yeah. yeah. So, Do you remember... Yeah. It should still be uh, a pretty good. Oh yeah, I mean all minor the... milestone. Yeah, all of the. Uh... <laughs> you remember uh, South Park with the? Uh, uh, You're the best. Or no, it's not that one. Or is it that one? Yeah. Can't ever get you down. It's when he like does the thing. Like he's yeah. like, I thought this was America. I thought this was America. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what, uh, Scott? We could use our uh, powers. I was to... just gonna say, you guys should use your new executive powers to see if we can't push it's this along. Not executive, <laughs> editor it's, powers. It's fucking what? Partially We're executive. We're editors. To do what? You guys can. Where? You guys can, can make raid. raids. You can make the raid. I don't think I have any powers. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you should. We should fun. raid. I don't. We have. I don't... We have nine people. Yeah, we should raid for sure. I don't see any powers. You have to go to uh, twitch.tv slash u slash decode slash stream, stream manager. What? U slash... Well, dashboard.twitch.tv yeah. slash u slash decode. Here, you I'll have Discord. It. You can copy-paste the fucking thing. Yeah, I was just doing that. Okay. I got it. Nope, I'm in it. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you all be good. I'm going to go find this thing called sleep. You have a good Go night. find that thing have called sleep. Fun. See you later, guys. Take it easy, sir. Bye, guys. What is this dashboard stuff? Let's take see care. Here. Do we want to do tabletop or? Well, we can. I don't know if uh, maybe the chatters might know, but I usually stick within the same sort of sphere. Whoa! Do you watch it through the dashboard thing? You can. Oh, interesting. Because we can do things like ad breaks. We can hit stream what? markers. Like if something's happening, yeah. we can put stream markers on there. Y'all have powers Oops. now. Oh, I clicked ad break. Oops. <laughs> Pre-roll ads, it's labeled for 37 minutes. That's funny. <laughs> uh, there's a 18 plus two years Twitch anniversary. Let's see, are they Ooh. speaking English? They <laughs> speak English. Oh, Ugh. good God. They've been live for 18 hours. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, hey. Shit. <laughs> Sheesh. Wow, she's got 68 viewers. So you don't need our help. <laughs> Raid channel. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh, God. No. Raid. Let's see. How long have you been up? Go, my little minions. Raid for me. 
she's been on for three hours. Oh, the decision making process. If anybody in chat has an idea of where they might want to go or a suggestion, we'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, please. If you have any places, stream ending stream. Okay, probably not that one. Uh, no. I've done that too many times. Whoa. Oh this my god, this can't be text? real. This person's been live for 16 hours. <laughs> that can't so, be like, real. They must have just like turn it off and like D on a tear playing Destiny. <laughs> right circumstances be. could be possible. No. <laughs> no. Uh There's not very many streamers in the uh, uh, TTRPG. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Oh. Let's just find somebody good or find somebody we know. Let's, or... let's go to uh, Channel Awesome or yeah. Channel One. Yeah. And let's see who's streaming here. Uh, we got Cold uh, Risers. Oh, you're doing a poll. Look at you. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll vote for random. There you go. Uh, yep. Let's do what? What? No. No. What? 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 I was just—it's being stupid. <laughs> uh, I don't think I should have these powers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. It's already entertaining. It's like when IT was getting frustrated with me. And so they just, like, gave me admin powers and then forgot to take them away. <laughs> Got Midweek Madness, streaming... What about... Amu, what? Ranger? Streaming Solid Space? What the hell is that? I don't know. I don't know. Any one of them would work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, poll results are in. Oh, yeah. They're 50-50. <laughs> okay, that goes in a, in a different language. <laughs> ah. Old you, Spice Ranger? He's been streaming for like four hours. D&D &D Randy. We've done him before, I think. He's in my followed channel, so we must have followed him at some point. We should raid Critical Role. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Dude, that'd be hilarious. Okay. They're like, who's this person? And then like right. everyone like floods backwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do it. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't think you can. I'm probably there like in some extra special level of Let's do the uh, one, yeah, do that, Scott. Do the one that uh, we, you're following. Oh, I don't know how to get there now. To, if they've got okay. 31,000. <laughs> yeah. Would well, be funny if they had a little banner and it's like, decodes rating of four people. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. When was the last time uh, they even got rated, huh? Yeah. Who, who, we need to remind them who Critical Role is. <laughs> they need a boost. <laughs> they need a boost. Yeah. Okay. What's so the raid? Raid. Huh? Like the raid channel. D and D, Randy. Here, I'll do it. Okay, <laughs> Got two of them doing it at the same time. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> okay, ready to raid. Yep. Seven viewers are ready to raid. Five, four, three, two. Ready to raid. Raid now. Do All it. right, later, y'all. <laughs> 